Yeah. Yes, sir. Most about of the, the same, games have been like that this weekend, even uh, last weekend. You guys deserve. You guys are sticking around too. So <laughs> those are the four hours. You guys deserve a little bit, a little bit, bit of that also. It was an, an exciting finish, you know, at the very end. Just kind of talk about that. Punch hitting from Darnell there. Well, there's no question. I mean, first of all, what a what a series. I mean, what a series of college baseball for everybody that was out here and saw that. I mean, what a series. That, that's college baseball at its best. I mean, three one-run games, uh, all three, I mean, going down essentially to that last that last three innings, last inning there. So, listen, first of all, Boston College, they got a great club. They got a great club. They got some really good arms and they some experience in their lineup. So, a lot of credit goes to those guys. They did a really good job. But, uh, listen, Darnell, you know, obviously, you know, we talk about it all the time. And, uh, you know, everybody picking each other up right there. And Darnell obviously had the big hit and the confidence to come back. I mean, we lost the lead right there, and then obviously come back and get the big hit. I hope that, I think everybody hopes, but you hope that can be kind of a catalyst for us moving forward. You know, we have, we, have, we still got to tighten up on a lot of areas fundamentally. I know I keep saying that, but if we continue, if we do that, then we won't even put ourselves in that position. Uh, but at the end of the day, the guys battled, uh, and it was, it was an awesome win, and they did a great job. There were a few odd calls in this game, yeah. uh, with the fair foul ball in the first, and then the hit batter in the ninth. Can you talk about how they explained to you how they came up with their decision? Well, they did. They did a good job. You know, all I'll tell you is this: the umpires did a good job. At the end of the day, uh, the, the umpires' job is to get the call right, and they got the calls right. They did. Those guys, they got the calls right, and, and sometimes it, you know, it takes a little bit longer, and they got to convene with three people together. But at the end of the day, they got the calls right, and that's all that matters. When you schedule this series, is this sort of what you envision for a, yeah. a tougher weekend before you start conference? That's play? a great question, yes. You know, the way it is, I, I try to, this is my, my my theory here, but the second weekend I always want it to be a tough weekend, always. Uh, you know, listen, everybody's tough, but but especially the second weekend. You know, last year we went to South Alabama for that tournament. That was a great tournament, South Al, Southeast, and then the University of Alabama. Obviously this year we got Boston College. Next year we've got our tournament here for the first time in the second weekend with a lot of great teams in it. So uh, there's no question. And I think now we're kind of maybe battle testing those kinds of things. But uh, it, was, it was a great weekend, two great teams, great series. You hold Douglas in the fifth. Is that a pitch count thing or a situational? Combination. Combination. He was at 94 pitches. Um, and that's enough. So that was there, and it, it was the right time. It, it was the right time. You know, we need to get Roman in there. Uh, going into the game today, I said, you know, there's no way Madrid and Joe Rogers were not pitching. I didn't care what inning it was. You know, we need to get those guys out there. And you know, obviously, Roman is a little bit earlier than what he's been in, but he showed him what a job he did. I mean, to be extended like that, and he's got pretty good slot. So uh, he, he did a great job today. So that, that was by design. It's kind of twofold. I think it's a right call, one, and then two, obviously, the pitch count. You mentioned Roman Madrid. He pitched very well today. Now not so well on a Friday night. Can you talk about the way he's so far? I think, it, I, I, yeah, I mean, obviously he did an unbelievable job today. There's no way he did a great job. Listen, if, if we draw it up, that's that's how I want the back end of our games to look. You know, with Jimmy Reed in between somewhere in there, you know. And, um, you know, so, and a lot of guys, you know, like last night we went with Scoglin. Um, I thought, you know, from that standpoint, you know, Matt Collins was doing a good job. Scoglin came in. We needed some velocity, I thought. You know, that we had some guys on base trying to do some ground ball or get a strikeout. You know, Jimmy's not necessarily a power guy. Um, so, really, when we're looking at late in the game, I think it's a Reed, Madrid, Rogers, some type of rotation of those three guys. I guess this is the, the second weekend with the starting pitchers, you know, second start for each other, right? Happy with where the guys are. I mean, they need to get better. They need to get better. I mean, our starting pitchers have to go deeper into games. So we, we've got a couple guys that are on the shelf right now, uh, Brian Brown and Ray Hansen. And that's, you know, that, that's it's going to create a lot, of, a lot of opportunities on Tuesday, Wednesday for some pitchers who haven't gotten a lot of innings. Um, but, I mean, Ray Hansen and Brian Brown are, you know, those guys are inning eaters. Between them, what they have, they certainly had well over 100 innings, 120 innings last year and expected the same thing. So those two guys, nothing major. They just had some soreness in their shoulders. And so we've got to get them back. I don't know if we're going to get them back this week. But so point being is our starting rotation, they have to go deep. I mean, they have to. I mean, Brian went into, what, into the fourth inning. You know, Chris went into the, to the fifth. And obviously the highlight of the weekend from a starting pitching standpoint was Ben Lively. Ben did a great job. But all of those guys, whoever's starting, they got to get us in at least the sixth inning from now on. Roddy Richardson, with the He's getting on base. Yeah, he is getting on base, which is a big part. He's going to get going. Listen, I, I listen. Ronnie Richardson is one of the best players in the country. He has been one of the best players in the country. The guy's going to be out there all the time. I've never, never, will ever lose confidence in Ronnie Rich. He's a hit away, man. He's going to be. He's going to be in great shape. Okay. Nobody works harder than Ronnie. His attitude is unbelievable. I love the guy. He's 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 ready to go. You know, he'll be ready to go. So he's going to keep going. And I'm just struggling a little bit, but I, that's why I'm going to keep him in the lineup. He's going to stay in the lineup. He's going to keep. He's going to, he'll do a good job for us.
talk about how big it was for Joe Rogers to come in with two men on base and strike out the first two batters? Yeah, two, and Roman did the same thing. You know, Roman came in with nobody on and, and got us out of it. You know, and obviously Joe did the same exact thing. So it was huge. You know, it was huge. I mean, we extended both of those guys because uh, we needed the win. I mean, there's no tomorrow as far as I'm concerned. You're playing one game at a time against a very good uh, Boston College team. But Joe did a good job. You know, look, it's going to happen. I mean, he gave up a hit. It happened once in a while. Balls, balls are put into play. So uh, Joe is, I mean, Joe's our closer. And Joe did a great job. And listen, when you look at our team, I, I really, really like the back end of our bullpen. I mean, that's to me is, is going to be a strength of this team, certainly early in the season. Is absolutely is. I mean, when you look at those, that combination of guys with Reed, Madrid, and Joe Rogers, I mean, that, that's pretty, I mean, you, you got a left handed pitcher that goes over 90, you got a righty that throws over 90, and, and then obviously, you know, Jimmy's kind of dazzles him, you know. So, uh, so you know, I like that. We, we got to figure out, long answer to your question, we need to figure out a starting pitch. That's going to happen. I might, I might shake that up in the next couple of games. So. What, do you, what do you have to do to make sure they get back on track? Or what, what are you going to shake We need to pitch more efficiently. That's how I do it. We need to pitch more efficiently. You know, Matulis was at 94 pitches going into the fifth. Too many. You know, Brian Atkins got into two deep accounts the other day. He wasn't pitching an advantage count, so he got hit a little bit. Uh, ben did a good job. You know, obviously I thought that was Ben Lively's best outing of his career, to be quite honest with you. So uh, the improvement that Ben made, I need to see it out of all of those guys. So we'll see. I mean, listen, we got five games, so somebody else is going to get another opportunity soon. Okay, what's your game plan is on Tuesday and so forth? I got a tentative one, but I'm not announcing it yet, so I, I, I got to see. Let, let's just say this way. I, I, I will make this statement. In the next two games, there will be a lot of pitchers for all. You know, I mean, really, because Hanson and Brown are out. So a lot of guys are, you know, we, we're going to have to use a lot of different guys in the next couple of days. So, uh, you know, there's a chance Brian Atkins could bounce back, too. You know, he didn't go to the pitches the other night. He needs to get on the mound. So I'll decide tomorrow afternoon which, which way we go.